Hi, I'm Matt Danzigo with Discovery News. There are certain measures taken in the physical world to make it more accommodating to those that are blind or visually impaired. But as more and more of our lives move from here to a life online, how will the digital world accommodate those in the blindness community? Meet Brian LeCorwick. He's the CEO of the most recent company to help the blind and visually impaired take advantage of internet communication. What we're launching here now is, is a voice terminal. And what that is is a service for the visually impaired and blind. And it's an integration of internet applications, email, web browser, calendaring, notifications. Basically, it uses your cell phone or any phone as the primary account number. You would call up the service. It would uh, verify you with a passcode, which you would speak. Welcome to Voice Terminal, powered by AudioPoint. Email from mail system internal data. Please say delete, save, repeat, or reply. Delete. You would also, at any point in time, be able to say my news or my sports. Where can I take you? Uh, news. What news headlines would you like to hear? National. Although useful, unlimited access to AudioPoint's VTS can cost as much as $499 a year. And some individuals in the visually impaired and blind community believe that applications like these, and more specifically, screen reading software on cell phones and PDAs, should come already included. How are we as, you know, people who are blind that experience a higher rate of unemployment than the rest of the sighted community, why are we expected to pay an obscene amount of money for not just the cell phone, but then again for the software? You know, to me, that there is a great inequity. Honestly, Matt, this is my life, too. I mean, it's not just my vocation. Obviously, I'm, I'm an advocate, but hell, I mean, it's something that I want, that my wife wants. My wife is blind, too. And so, you know, it's very real. Eric Bridges, as well as others, are currently working toward a provision to the 21st Century Communications and Video Accessibility Act in hopes of making these applications for the blind community come standard. For Discovery News, this is Matt Danzico.